Oh, hello and uh, welcome back to another vlog. Things have uh, changed today. My plan was to uh, have a day trip out to central London and do some cityscape photography. But uh, unfortunately one or two things cropped up at home which meant I wasn't able to do that today. Uh, so I dealt with what I had to deal with this morning and uh, find myself now trying to find an image or two more locally. So I come down to Ramsgate Seafront on my way now down to the, the harbour area and see if we can make an image or two. I'm currently now just walking around the harbour, um, round towards the harbour arm. There's a, a little lighthouse uh, at the end of it. And the plan is to shoot from there across to the other harbour arm, um, where you have the Ramsgate um, Harbour Lights Cafe, I believe it is. And the, uh, the, the building itself kind of looks like a bit of a ship um, in its own right. So I've taken an image here before, um, <clears throat> many years ago now I think and I thought I'd come down and give it another go uh, not a lot of colour in the sky at the moment so you know, I may be looking to turn this one black and white but uh, we'll have a look and we'll see what we can get Well, we are now out here at uh, the end of the Arbor Arm, but uh, as you can see, it's really quite blowy out here at the moment. And my plan was to try and get a long exposure of uh, the Harbour Light Cafe here. But, uh, I don't know, it may be a bit of a challenge in this wind trying to keep uh, everything locked down and steady, but uh, I'll get set up and give it a go and uh, see what we can get. Uh, as you can see, it's really windy. I'm really not hopeful that uh, this is going to turn out at all. I think, uh, we'll try and keep this camera as low to the ground as we can. I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, just take a normal exposure at the moment. Um, I'm at f11 ISO 100 and it's given me an exposure of a 30th of a second. Uh, it's quite well balanced seen actually because the sea and the sky are pretty much the same exposure. So we might not need any filters at this stage but we'll give it a go. Just try and shelter the, the camera a bit. I think I'm going to uh, abandon the idea of the long exposure. It's so windy out here. 
I'm really trying to struggle uh, keeping the camera still um, a normal exposure and this one I've got ISO 100 f11 and it's giving me an exposure time of a tenth of a second and I'll put it up on the screen for you now I'm even struggling <laughs> trying to keep this gimbal um, still so I'm not quite sure what the footage is going to turn out like or whether you can hear me but uh, I think I'm going to leave it for this location uh, the wind is really whipping up at the end of the harbour arm here so uh, I think I'll have a walk around and try and find another composition Well, I've made my way over to the other harbour arm now and I'm shooting back across uh, the harbour itself. Um, sunset is about now really and as you can see the, the sky is quite dreary, drab, it's not a lot happening, not a lot of colour. Um, but I found this composition uh, that's got uh, like this old slipway in Ramsgate and it's got these um, old wooden beams that just stick up which I'm using in the foreground. Now, even with a 17 millimeter lens i couldn't get the whole uh, composition in shot so what i've done is i've put the camera in portrait orientation and i've got a uh, it's a three-legged thing airhead two ball head i think and it's got a, a pan head on it which allows you to level the, the head itself and then loosen off uh, the top plate so then you can turn uh, the, the camera on the plate itself and it will actually remain quite level um, so when you're turning to do a pano they're all nice and level and it makes it a lot easier to stitch together in Photoshop afterwards uh, I think I did a, a four shot pano and I hope you like it I'll put it on the screen for you now Well, it's coming up for that time of year again where I think it's the uh, Ramsgate Yacht Club. All the yachts in the harbour start decorating their uh, yachts with Christmas lights. And there are one or two just starting to get ready now and the, the lights are going on. Uh, another few weeks and I would imagine that there'll be a, a large volume of boats in the harbour here with their Christmas lights on. So we'll have to come down and, and photograph that um, when that happens. But uh, it really is quite an attraction for Ramsgate and it does attract quite a few people down. Well, that's it for this week's vlog. Um, it was a bit short, but uh, something cropped up and I had to deal with, um, which meant what I had planned had to go out the window. But uh, sometimes in life, that's what happens and you just have to make the best of it. But uh, got one or two images today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and uh, I'll see you again when we get out very soon. Thanks, Sam. Eh?